There's love in every bit of the mishmash. The Giselle Mishmash! Mm. Hi, it's me, Giselle. Welcome to the Giselle Mishmash, where we'll have a whole mishmash of fun together. I was just folding some laundry. That's some hard work. Do you ever feel like getting fancy? Well, I'm going to use this towel to get fancy. I can wear it as a cape to be fancy like a king. And I can wear this towel as a crown to be a fancy queen. And I can wear the towel as a scarf. So I can be fancy. Oh! Uh, uh, oh! I can use my towel as fancy slippers to be me. <laughs> Hi, Ziku. Hi, Giselle. I would like you to meet Ziku. Hi. <coughs> what was that? Oh, uh, I think that was a dog barking. A dog? Uh-huh. I think maybe the barking dog came from outside. Oh, that dog's bark sure sounds scary. Oh, right. Well, a dog's bark is just how a dog speaks. It's like how a cat meows or a cow moves. Oh, but that dog sounds really loud. Mm-hmm. That dog's bark does sound pretty loud. Uh, do you know that some people say that their dog is their best friend? Oh, well, their dog must be really friendly. Mm-hmm. And do you know that some people say that their bunny is their best friend? Uh-huh. Oh, do you mean me, Giselle? Yes, I mean you, Ziku. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. Oh, I think you mean happy. Mm -mm. No, I mean happy. I feel like hopping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guess what? I found a machine. A simple machine. It's a wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow is used to help carry things from one place to another. Like a big, heavy pumpkin. You just place it in the wheelbarrow and then you can push it because the wheelbarrow has wheels. Aw, it's kind of like having a little baby pumpkin in a stroller. Hello little pumpkin, would you like to go for a walk? <laughs> oh, I love having a wheelbarrow. Let's get art smart with wood blocks because I'm going to show you how I make block prints. So you need wood blocks and then paint. I have purple, red and pink, but any color of paints can be used and a piece of paper and you need some items to decorate your wood blocks, such as some elevated stickers. I have these jewels, so they're a bit puffy and elevated. So any kind of elevated puffy stickers can, will do. And also you can use an elastic band to decorate your block or some foam paper. And foam paper is a little bit thick, so you can also use that. But really there are a lot of ways to decorate your blocks. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start with my foam paper. And I'm going to show you how I will decorate one of my blocks. So I'm going to cut out some little designs. I'm going to cut out a triangle like so. Oops, there we go. Well, 
So I've just cut out a triangle. It's a little bit crooked, but it'll do. And hmm, maybe another shape. Uh, what other shape can I cut out? Can you think of any other shapes? A square. I'll cut out a square. Okay, so there's a little square. And I will cut out a circle shape. A bit trickier. But I will do my best with my safety scissors. Like this. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna fix that circle. That's not very round. That's a tricky shape to cut out of foam paper. Oopsies. And how about that? Not bad. Okay, and now I just use some glue to glue my shapes to my block. Ta da! Like this. Like that. Press that down. And this one here. There we go. Okay, and then you can see I've decorated this block with some shapes. And now I am going to decorate this block with my jewel stickers. So I'm just going to peel those off and glue them on like so. There we go. I'll just put a bunch of those. There we go. Okay, so now this block is also ready to make my block print painting. So what I do is I dip my blocks here. Just move this over like this. I'm going to dip the block into the paint. Mix that around. And then you press. Oh! Now I think this works well with watery paints. These ones are somewhat watery. And I'm going to do the same thing with my foam block print. Okay, here we go. Into the purple. And then you press. Oh, there's some interesting shapes. Oh, I can see my triangle and my square and my circle. That one works really well. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> and I also have two more blocks that I've made earlier. This one with some broken popsicle sticks and this one with some string. And you could do this as well with an elastic band if you like. You just wrap it around the block. And now I can use this one. Put that one into purple. Press. Oh, there's another interesting shape. Look at that. Ah, so much fun. And finally, I'll use my popsicle stick block by pressing it into the red paint. Swirl that around. And then, ta-da. There we go. <laughs> oh, these are fun. And one of the great things about these blocks is that you can use them over and over again. And if you don't have little pieces of wood blocks, then perhaps you can, you can use your, your own building blocks. Just ask a grown-up if that's okay. And as long as you don't mind having paint on your blocks, then you can use them to make a nice block print painting. <laughs> like this one. There's a masterpiece on my mantelpiece. What? This masterpiece is made by Nyla, who's seven years old from Toronto, Canada. Thank you, Nyla. I love this mermaid. I love all the rich colors that you chose. And I love how you mixed the colors. You blended them, such as the different colors of pinks in the arms. I find that the more color, the nicer the art. So thank you for this. And I'm sure you'll inspire others to send in art, or I hope you do. Everybody else, please send in your art, your masterpiece, to GiselleMishmash.com. You can do so by asking a grown-up to help you. You take a piece of art, one of your beautiful masterpieces, and then you have a grown-up to help you take a picture of it, and then you email it to GiselleMishmash.com and you could find where to email it in the contact page on GiselleMishmash.com. So I do hope you send in more masterpieces because then I can display it here and share it with the world, all of your beautiful masterpieces. All right, well, I'll see you next week 
here in the Giselle Mishmash. Have a great week and I'll see you next Wednesday. Okay, bye. <laughs>